big movie coming out at the end of the month from HBO Max. We've got Moonshot starring alongside Dylan, or no, Cole Sprouse, not Dylan Sprouse, <laughs> and Lana Condor. Uh, talk to me a little bit about this movie and your character. I'm really looking forward to it. The trailer looks great. I'm so excited about it. It's a really fabulous movie. I know it's going to be fantastic. It's about a young lady who decides to follow true love and her heart to Mars. It's a sci-fi uh, romantic comedy and it stars the delightful Lana Condor. She is just so funny and sweet and cute and watchable and lovable. Um, and yeah, it's uh, also Cole Sprouse, who's playing her romantic lead partner on screen. And then it was me, Michelle Buteau, and Cameron Esposito for supporting roles. Amazing. Can you talk to me a little bit about your character? In the yes. Um, yes. I haven't seen yes. anything other than the trailer. They've been like, <laughs> no one gets to watch this movie. So I'm like. My character's name is Celeste. Um, which is perfect for Celestial, but she's actually quite a grounded character. She's kind of passive aggressive, a lot passive aggressive, and she is just very obsessed with her job, with science, with uh, being the first to go to Mars, and just really, um, she's, she's in love. She is in love very much so with her romantic partner, who is played by Cameron Esposito. So um, that is the couple that we are in a science couple and Cameron Esposito is so funny and hilarious and just so much fun to work with. And um, we just had a great time shooting it in Atlanta. I love it. And you get to use a lot of your comedy chops because I know a lot of people really know you from Daredevil, which is not yes. so much a comedy. <laughs> No, it wasn't really a comedy. Um, it was it was a tough uh, show to be on. It was so much fun to be on, but it was a very dark character arc for everybody that was involved, especially with um, the Nadim household. And so I remember there were certain days that I would just come home and just cry myself to sleep because oh it was God. just so tough shooting on. Yeah, it really was. It was a lot. I would just kind of have a little bit of a whiskey and then go to sleep. But um, it was a lot to deal with. But no, this was uh, all my comedy chops, my improv chops. I've been training in improv for many, many years now. And uh, it was just me sending in a bunch of my improv tapes to the casting directors and thankfully getting selected to be a part of this wonderful movie. We got to do so much improv on set. It was just so much Fun. And Chris Winterauer, the director, was really gung ho about us getting a bunch of takes to do improv, just a ton. So it was just really exciting. I love that because for some actors, like improv can be really scary. I know, like, <laughs> you know, it, like you got to think, like it's like having a conversation, but when it's thrown into like the improv bubble, I feel like people get like, what does that mean? Yeah, like, you and I are improving right now. If you think right. Well, all of life is improv. I mean, I teach improv as well. And that's the first thing I tell everybody on the first day is you do improv, whether you know it or not. If you're going to go take a subway and that subway is closed for the day or whatever's going on, you're going to have to find another way to work, whether it's walking or taking an Uber and that it's, it's reacting in real time and that's improv. But yeah, it's really funny actually, because I came up through improv it was harder for me to be given a script and stick exactly to the script like Aaron Sorkin going in for him would be terrifying. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it, but that guy, Mamet, you don't change their words. Every comma, every bit of punctuation is there for a reason, for a good reason, because they're exceptional. So uh, for me, that's actually scarier is word for word. Yeah, I could absolutely. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about, because Daredevil is coming or is now on Disney yeah. Plus, which is yesterday, so exciting. I got yesterday. my my little update of like, would you like mature content? And I'm like, oh, it's happening, which is kind of funny. I was like that the whole Netflix family is mature content versus what <laughs> the MCU is. So I was like, okay, they're still fighting. Um, for, I love like your character of Seema doesn't exist in the comic book. So she was someone that you got to like introduce in the world of Marvel. That's like a world of canon and a world of tons of backstory and things to go on. What was that like for you kind of being able to make your own way in this crazy marvel scape it was such a surprise from beginning to end i originally had gone into the audition for a role that is known as a date player it means that you're going to go in for one scene and that's it and the real role that i had gone in for was she was talking about um how daredevil had shown up out of nowhere and saved her and her father i'm very close with my real father in real life so it, has, it wasn't a hard scene to act. It was so well-written. And then Julie Schubert, 
who was the casting director said, I'm really surprised you haven't been sent in for this role, which was two to three roles uh, to, or was recurring. And uh, she said, why, why haven't you been sent in for this? I think you'd be great for it. It's the role of Seema Nadine, the wife of J. Ali, Ray Nadine. Can you speak Hindi? And I said, no, because I can't. <laughs> Every actor has yelled at me since then. You lie, you lie. Um, but I said, I can have my father work with me tonight and we can learn the lines. And so Julie had me come in the next day and read for Seema Nadine. And the thing that I noticed the most from the get-go for her role was that she was very grounded and non-stereotypical, which I loved. There was no accent requirement. The relationship between her and her husband was very familiar to what I know. And uh, I just felt very real and authentic. And I found out later from Eric Olson that he had actually based this character on someone he had actually known um, in his neighborhood, which is what I absolutely loved. And I met Jay Ali on the first day at the table read. And he was just so wonderful to work with too. Um, And he really just brought that character to life. And I was so excited to go along the ride with it. And I'll never forget on set, it was either on episode two or three, um, someone came up to me and they said, and I remember it was so quick. They said, hello, Sunita, I'm from Marvel. You guys are stunning together. You're doing a great job. If you don't mind, would you like us to write you into more episodes or something along that line? And I was like, yes. So it actually turned into eight wonderful episodes. What a wonderful journey that was. That's amazing. Now, I know your character is still floating around in the Daredevil universe. So we know that- You got to stay alive. (laughs) Yeah, you stayed alive. And we do know that Matt is floating around. Um, He popped up in uh, the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie. So who knows what could happen? Would you want to come back as your character if the opportunity arose? I would absolutely love to come back. I have said this before, there'd be a couple of rules for Seema. I would be very excited for her to have a very high-end wardrobe. I would like to see (laughs) her, (laughs) I would like to see her taking care of herself. Um, It was so well-written in the sense that every mother will do anything for their child. And so that was something that I was very aware of. But at the same time, I was like, you know, Seema could really, after this whole pool incident and having to find her husband in the way she did, I would really like for her to just be able to go to a spa and relax and then also maybe show up dressed up to the nines because she is a strong tigress of a character and she would definitely want to get revenge for what happened to her husband. Absolutely. I'm, I'm ready. Like you hear that Marvel? We want it. We see it. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> uh, so let's, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, and it was really surprising actually after Matt showed up again, I was so shocked and happily so by how many insanely wonderful fans reached out on Instagram and DMs and everything um, just about because it, it was a big, it was a big excitement to, for Matt to show back up in the universe and for people to go back and re-binge Daredevil. So that was really nice. Absolutely. He's such a beloved character. He's such a cool character. You know, they've had movies and then they had this amazing show that everyone related to. And so it's, I'm happy that he is still the daredevil in my mm-hmm. land. Uh, so dive back to like, get you out of here quickly to Moonshot. Give me a like quick 30 seconds or less why everyone should check out this movie on HBO Max when it comes out. Everyone should check out this movie on HBO Max when it comes out because Lana Condor is adorable. Cole Sprouse is so funny and fun to watch. It's a beautiful story about traveling across the universe for true love and the journey that happens along the way. And make sure you watch it too, because Michelle Buteau, Cameron Esposito, me, Lucas Cage, uh, Zach Braff are all in it. And Mason Gooding Jr. are the most cutest puppy on set ever. And that's why you should watch this movie because the puppies, that's right. Oh, puppies will always win. And there's always a cat win. in it. There's a cat in it. Boom, it's for one for everyone. Sold. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you guys so much for sitting here with me talking to Sunita about Moonshot and Daredevil. And make sure you check out both those things Daredevil on Disney Plus and Moonshot coming to HBO Max. <laughs>